At Freedom Mortgage, freedom means helping veterans use their homes for better living. Whether that be through refinancing your mortgage, accessing cash through your home's equity, or helping you purchase a new home, making home financing a custom fit. That's freedom. Visit freedommortgage.com forward slash VA to learn more. Freedom Mortgage Corporation, NMLS number 2767, www.nmlsconsumeraccess.org, 951 Yamato Road, Boca Raton, Florida, 33431, 800-220-3333, licensed in all 50 states. For complete licensing information, visit www.freedommortgage.com forward slash state dash licensing, equal housing opportunity. No matter where you are, there's probably a Speedway right around the corner. So whether you want a freshly brewed hot or iced coffee, fountain drink, or speedy freeze, Speedway's got the fuel to keep you going all summer. All right, everybody, it's a pleasure to see you. And since ain't none of y'all first time here, y'all know what this is. Let me get a bunch of random boring stuff out the way. The blender, which one are we using? The bullet. The bullet one. Can I have some fruits and veggies blended up in there? Outstanding, outstanding. Susan, I am going to blend fruits and veggies. That should make you proud. That should make you proud. Okay, all right. Because I don't eat fruit at all. I eat zero fruit. Now I eat a billion vegetables. That's good. You don't need, you shouldn't eat much fruit because it's sugar. Mm -hmm. No, it's still sugar, sugar, sugar. Mm-hmm. So the best fruit to eat is berries, not pineapples and bananas and things like that, but berries like blueberries and strawberries. The berries are the best. Blueberries are right. phenomenal for you. I need this for But berries. just once a day, really. Once we, a day? We have that as our treat. Heard me tell you that at night okay. with blueberries. I, I knew you would know. That's why I brought it up first and called your name. I, <laughs> no, say it on the mic. Hey, Susan, would you mind sending me some um, some of your smoothie recipes that you use with the ingredients? Yeah, I, I used to do smoothie recipes and all that. What I do now is I get the super green powder which has spirulini and all the things that you really need. Spirulini is a phenomenal product. There's all kinds. You can get that um, food or Amazon and I can tell you which one to get because you don't want some with you know other stuff, in, other things in it. So I do that and then I do a, a protein, a real healthy, healthy, healthy protein. And I'm very picky on that. And I'll put a little bit of that in there and the super greens. And that's all you need because the super greens, if you put one piece of fruit in there that you don't need or throw in some spinach and you think that's healthy, you're not getting all the other things that the super greens has. The super greens has everything in it that you need. Okay. Thank you very much. I would greatly appreciate that. Anybody else have sure. questions about it? Let me know. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Miss Susan. Well, I like mine all natural. Use this just berries and spinach. All right. I ain't even worried about taste. Just put some collard greens in there. The I thing is, the, the super greens, you can I get the berry flavor of the super greens. So you don't need yeah. anything else in it you know, uh, other than that, and it, and then your protein gives it another little flavor together. And you see me drinking this, this is this, that's it. And I gotta stir the bottom because the protein goes, but I've been gotcha. drinking this all morning. Exactly. And then I just keep adding water in it through the day. Well, yeah, you know what you do. You, you, you the reason I lost 80 pounds, keep it coming. Keep it coming between it's you and It's about health. You know, if you if yes. you think health, the weight's going to come off by the things you eat and the activities you do. Good. Even right. when you're at your desk, the more you can stand instead of sit during the day, mm-hmm. if there's any opportunities to stand as opposed to sitting, you want to do that, you know, because we're on our um, computers all day long. So there are yeah. times that stand and do things, take that opportunity. That makes sense. I mean, I, I do get, I pass up every opportunity to drink a soda or anything like that. 
anything but water. That's yeah. all I drink. I haven't in had soda. Yet. Gosh, I can't even remember. Probably twenty years. Good, good. Well, I'm right behind you. I'm, I'm. I got eighteen years to catch up with you. <laughs> I'm two years in. <laughs> good. Stuff. Well, so at your age to be doing it, you're going to be all set. No, that's right. Well, I feel great. I'm healthier and faster than ever. Doing all right. I'm, I'm still dropping because my pants they they starting to sag on me. I gotta, yeah. Shrink yeah. them in the dryer. That's yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. You got all that, Diana. Mm -hmm. All right, outstanding. Yesterday, we paid our largest payroll out ever. Yes. Yes. All I can say is it's working. Yes, it's working. And and those of you that got residuals, that's just an ever-growing thing. Yes, go ahead, Grace. Go ahead. Uh, and those of you who have money sitting in will call because y'all haven't given me your PayPal. Okay, I'm going to need your PayPal account info. If you don't give your PayPal, that's company money. Thank you very much. For your donations we appreciate you thank you nah, it's, it's just sitting in escrow you'll be all right it'll be there <laughs> it'll be there it'll be there yes go right jerome okay look at you look at you all right jerome getting paid all right all right all right abby sent me a text this morning about nigeria and stripe which one of the payment we actually the payment we use for recaso just bought one of the main payment processes in Nigeria would so that would be easier. However, however, we've already what I'm doing, Abby, is yes, to, it doesn't matter, but just know that I'm working on 120 different currencies at one time. So I figured instead of solving the problem for Nigeria, how about I just solve all these problems? <laughs> yes, that's what I've been working on. You know, that's what I've been working on here. The last couple of days and I have actually I've got the problem solved now it is integrating some tippers and I do 99% of the programming we're very good and now I'm now it's a it's a matter of integrating it seamlessly with the with the stuff that I want to do with the program you know stuff like that it's it's a big nerd long rant i would have to do so i'll save you that and just say that there's some api access and things and some code that i have to do blah blah, blah. but i know what to do and use now i have to work it with what we're doing and the upgrades that we are already doing right now okay so, there you go that's that there. Sounds sounds good. Sounds awesome. Yes, yes, yes. But the goal, if I have my way, I'll knock out 120 currencies at once. But I would definitely, Nigeria is, I can't even say it's at the top of the list. It is the list. It is the list, yes. So it is very important between you and the Mali. Uh, it is extremely important. Let me keep going down my list of the boring stuff. Race is we paid our largest payroll. Now, Monica has been doing live calls at 10 p.m. at night with sugar. And let me tell you something. If that don't tell you the dedication of these people to help you make money. And, and sugar the food around and start getting paid consistently now. I wish she was on the call. Remind me to bring it back up next time she come on. But Monica is. They do these live videos, two hour videos <laughs> at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. I don't know who be watching sugar, but she getting paid. So apparently her audience is up at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time and it's working. I just wanted to highlight that because this is truly the the this is the culture, right? This is the 
I will work with you at 10 at night if I have to to get you paid mists of ATS. And I'm, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Read this message to me from Satish. Oh, all right. No problem. Got it. Never mind. I, I read it. I saw it that fast. Cool. Other boring stuff. Erase that one. Got the blender. All right. I need you, Grace. Need you because she's gonna well, actually you're gonna be busy making phone calls. Deanna, set some time outside to contact Phil and Susan today. I'm gonna to mute my mic real All right, I said something off camera. Fantastic news, I just want y'all, I didn't want y'all in their business, that's all. I just ain't want y'all in their business, all right. So you should, you should, let's, anyway, she's gonna take care of y'all. Switch, we already talked about the videos you sent over so that you should know what I'm talking about. All right, that, that's what I'm talking about. Videos you sent over, good stuff. Moving forward, all right, I'll save that for later. Got that done. All right, Deanna, I can't take credit for what I'm about to do next, so I want you to, Speak about. I say something quick, Antonio. Oh, sir, you can always say something. Your energy is so. <laughs> I, I your energy is so group. pleasant. I just want to say to the group, I, I've been, I've been physically sick the last couple of days, and so I just wanted to say to the group, I made some money, but I didn't make the money. Grace made the money for me. Talk, sir. Hello. I just wanted to, I just wanted to share that with the group. Hello. And then, and then told, gave, her, gave her another name last night and told her, you tell her to give you that credit card. And if she don't, you call me back, Grace. <laughs> I think she called somebody for you at 11 o'clock at night or something. Who was that you yeah, called? It was, it, yeah. That was it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were, we were yeah. scheduled for this afternoon. Uh -huh. And listen, she, she literally said, she literally told you, I'm going to call this lady right now. He should have gave me the number. <laughs> Antonio, <laughs> this is Antonio. We, me, me and Grace on the call, right? And I told Grace, I said, Grace, call her tomorrow. And then I caught myself. I said, excuse me, Jerome, if she making you money, why are you telling her how to make you money? I said, excuse me, Grace, you call her when you feel you need to call her, I apologize. <laughs> she called that lady 11, we ain't leave here till late. Oh, no, it was 11, it was nine, 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 it was nine. She called lady, but it's 10 o'clock for her. Yeah. Call that lady nine o'clock at night. As soon as y'all hung up, she called that lady. And the lady said, I know you're gonna call this lady. <laughs> Look here. <laughs> and they rescheduled for this afternoon. Ain't nobody playing. Ain't nobody playing around. Here, we trying to get Jerome paid, hey, amen. Nah, that Jerome won't late night. I've been sick for two days, buddy. Nah, no, that's right. I like what Jerome said. Jerome said that, well, he's been out of commission, but Grace has not. Let me rewind for a couple of people that have been on the call because some of the stuff I said I want repeated. Monica has been on 10 p.m. Central Standard Calls with Dr. Sugar. <laughs> Live calls. <laughs> Two-hour calls. Half sleep. Powerful calls. I listen Powerful to Powerful calls. Powerful yeah. calls. Yeah, and I don't know who her audience is up at 10 o'clock at night, but apparently they're the ones that sign up because okay. Sugar done got paid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So come on, y'all meet your mics and clap for that. That's a big deal on two reasons. <laughs> yes. Yes, Sugar. Yes. Yeah, I do want to shout out to uh, Monica because she did tell me that her bedtime was 9 o'clock and uh, we're supposed to be stretching. And it takes me a little bit to, to grasp all of this stuff that's going on. And I, I just want to thank you, Monica, because of the fact that you break it down. And what I, I learned by just repetition, repetition, repetition. So what I'm actually doing is having my one-on-ones with Monica. And so I'm interjecting questions, asking questions, frequently asked questions, so that when I... Uh, and out speaking with people, I have greater knowledge 
And I learned by hearing and listening and repeating. And so now it's like speaking better about it because of the knowledge that I've attained, even if it is at 10 o'clock at night. But thank you, Monica. <laughs> Always, anytime. Tell you what, yes, yes, I tell you what. You sound like you've been connoached by feelings, Susan. I, I, I heard a lot of I heard a lot of wisdom up in there. That, you know, I'm just saying. Why don't you go on and tell them about the connoture services, Grace? Go on, tell them about it. Since this we here. If you would like to inquire about Phil and Susan's connoaching services, coaching and consulting services all wrapped up in one. Let me get this number real quick for y'all. Please give them a call at 614-7366. 7366990 it will be in the chat it is in there now and i would like to jump on that one also being one of their their my connoters as well and since i have been with phil and susan how they have brought out a lot of just some of the things what phil says is phenomenal when, when we're on like this in the mornings and in the evenings but they have combined so much wisdom and greater understanding for speaking and for being able to just take regular common values, things that many of us already know, but until you put it together, like many times we'll say a word, oh, I can't wait, or something like on that line, and Phil can just come up and say just something so simple, and he says very little, but it always has such great value when he speaks. And, and, uh, and uh, Susan is just straight on as far as organizational skills. They've got me now, I'm with the Toastmasters and uh, uh, the speaking, um, uh, what is it, National Speakers Association. And I'm just you know learning how to put are speaking in, in order and in line. And I'm telling you, without them and without them connoting me, that I would not be as far as I am right now, staying abreast with everything that ATS is doing. It just kind of all is an umbrella. And I don't know about some of y'all, but I talk to myself, okay? So I was talking to myself this morning. And I says, do others really understand what ATS has to offer? It's not just these classes, but these individual one-on-ones. We have a marketing expert that with, with e-commerce. We have a counselor with Kiera. We have a, a Carol, a nutritionist, that's willing to work with us one-on-one, -on -one, take out their time and slowly work with us. It's so much more value than, than even getting paid because along with all of this, the pay is going to come. And I just wanted to share that. I'll be quiet now. Y'all heard him. She said what she said. Now. Amen. I ain't got nothing to say about that, but yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. She said what she said. No, they don't know what they got. They'll figure it out later. Hey, you know, each day go by. Each day go by. People will learn. I am pleased, well pleased to have all these things. Another thing I said is we paid our highest payroll ever yesterday. Yes, yes, more people have gotten paid than ever before. And I plan on saying that every Friday. You understand? I plan on breaking the records every Friday. So y'all better make sure I say that every Friday, but we paid our highest payroll it was so many people it, it was it was good 10 exit that's it that's it i was well pleased i was well pleased i was happy to see that and that's the purpose right and the purpose is to, to get this money huh Hello? that's the purpose yeah yeah that is the purpose that's what we want to do but well, congratulations to all of you who receive payments and all of you who will receive payments because you will you just will, and I am proud of you to know you. I think that was a good recap about what I already talked about. Now, don't want to say next. It's on my agenda. Let's see. Oh, that's right, Diana. I can't take credit for this. So I want to share my screen 
And then you, ma'am, are going to talk well about these people. Oh. All right, so for Member Appreciation Week, we have one of our, uh, I'm gonna say one of our members because they are one. Like they are one, like you can't say Phil without Susan and you can't say Susan without Phil. Even though they're individuals, they are one, you know? And so we wanted to appreciate Phil and Susan Sorrentino for Member Appreciation Week. The reason being is because they have been with us for such a long time and they have, they're, they are family. They have done so much for not only this organization, but for the members of this organization. They have dedicated their time. They have, no matter what's going on, they are always there. It can be a storm going on. If they have electricity, they will be on. <laughs> I don't care what's going on. They will be there. They have been with us through ups and downs, losses and gains. They have they 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 are the they're like the company parents <laughs> if you think of it that way they're like the company parents they care about each and every one of us they check on each and every one of us i don't care it it could be a tropical storm versus a category five hurricane we will get a message hey checking on you guys are you guys okay is everybody good you know did Grace have to, did Grace have to leave? You know, did you guys have to leave? Like they, they are the company parents. And so we just wanted to take a moment to act, to show our appreciation for Phil and Susan Sorrentino. Yay, congratulations. Congratulations, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Yes, yes, congratulations, course. Phil. Congratulations Thanks for today. everything. I Congratulations. love Congratulations. Right at the end, I almost took a screenshot, but I missed it. Oh, okay. Well, I, you're, you're going to get the whole thing right now. Yeah, you're going <laughs> to. I'll put it back up, though, for sure. But you're going to get the whole picture. And, you're, and your moment lasts a lot longer than her just talking to you, let me tell you. <laughs> Thank you, Deanna. That means a yes. lot to us. There you go. Here you go. We'll put it back up for you. There it is. In fact, I'll actually, the, yes, yes. And then there'll be a, obviously some posts made today as well. And there you go. And it should be in the chat as well. Okay, there you go. Should be in the chat. Um, yes, yes, in the email. But there will be plenty of posts made. So it, it's already, already done, already done. There's more, there's more, but you know, we, Instead of doing one person to, like back to back to back, mm -hmm. just trying to stretch it out so mm -hmm. people can feel all that love. Mm -hmm. So member appreciation week is going to last longer than just one week. Right. Okay, so we, we want to. Not that 1999. <laughs> not that 1999. That 1999 stop at 855 <laughs> Central Standard Time on Sunday. <laughs> I meant that. <laughs> yeah, but I meant that. Congratulations to you too, we are so grateful. Let's see, what else? What else is on my list? I can fix that now. The people who signed up yesterday for, by sign up, we just mean who wants to get to a hundred member success team, okay? hundred member success team. You signed up. If you have not, you can't. It doesn't cost you anything. We're not, this isn't a sign up. What we're doing is, well, this isn't a cost associated sign up, I should say. What we're doing is we are, Antonio believes that the economy is going to get worse. I believe that they are funneling money in which is actually devaluing money now. I believe that the propaganda machine is going to continue to be what it is. 
I also believe that no matter who wins the president presidential election of the United States of America, certain stocks are going to go up pertaining to which candidate. If it if it is Joe Biden, then stocks like energy and like Tesla, those will rise up without a doubt. If it is oh no, if it's Obama, if it is Trump, then it will be you know your Nasdaq, gold, etc. However, the only people who are going to benefit are people like me who already have it. Okay, I want you to I want you to receive this very good information. There will be a drop off. It's going to be terrible, but not for me or others because we control or own what will rise up already mm -hmm. should you have enough money to do so should you just jump in right now but you need enough shares enough money if you don't and haven't done this over time like i have then you won't benefit so what we are attempting to do is create our own stock market in ATS with a hundred people success team. Does that make sense? Right. That's why. That's why I'm saying what I'm saying. So when it go to hell out there, <laughs> it ain't got nothing to do with what's in here. Okay. <laughs> I hope y'all get that. Someone, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I had to had to get them, had to get it off. Someone quoted me i think it was brad that's right the other day and i forgot i say this but i don't give a damn who the president is it doesn't matter to me at all because i got my own economy i've always focused on my own economy so i don't listen it could be the only let me tell you something let me tell you what i really what i really want to say what i really feel let me, <laughs> let, me let me let me really say what i want to say i'm not going to care about no president ever until it's a woman i'm gonna just tell you right now that's when I'm gonna care about the president. I'm serious. I'm not gonna care about a single presidential election no more until a woman gets elected. When a woman gets elected, I'm gonna be. I'm going to the inauguration. I have cold outside. I'm having mittens with the uh, with the 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 of the, the the warmers in my hands. I'm paying for the tickets. I'm going. But until then, I don't care about no president whatsoever. Okay, I don't. Do you you want to say so? <laughs> what if you don't have to pay? What if you're just on stage? Shh, you be quiet. Right now, <laughs> we're talking about a woman president. Okay, we talk about a woman president. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's just me. And I ain't saying that for points. I'm dead serious. I mean, we didn't mess this thing up a long time. Would, would you consider the vice presidency, sir? Well, you know, you understand. You know, you be quiet too. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah, I'm a single heated tit. I know that's right. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting on that. <clears throat> that I'm going to be excited. But the, the major point there is if you have your own economy, you don't, you're not going to care either. Okay. You get to when you have your own economy, you start caring about stuff that, that humans care about that you should, like injustice. You start caring about what's happening in Nigeria right now with SARS. I'm not even sure if y'all know anything. All right, see, see, that's why me and Abby, Abby, I'm on it, Abby. All right, listen, <laughs> injustice anywhere got my attention. Please believe that, especially in Nigeria. Nigeria is facing a major crisis right now. It's called SARS. As a matter of fact, I'll be quiet. Abby, if you want to come explain to them, because you are Nigerian, and I don't want to explain to these people what you should yourself. <laughs> well, um, there's a movement going on right now in Nigeria, and it's uh, the hashtag is NSARS. And SARS stands for Special Anti-Robbery Squad. And they are, they are, uh, they are a part of the police system in Nigeria that is supposed to help quell robberies and you know things like that theft armed robbery in Nigeria 
But what has happened is that this group of police have now exploited and taken advantage of people and they, they, they kind of like profile certain people. For instance, if you're a young man and you're driving a decent car, they might stop you on the road and start asking you questions like, where did you get your car from? Where do you get your money from? And, and then they, the they ask too. you for your, they yourself. Exactly. The yes. And if you have a phone, a fancy phone, they, they even sometimes they take your phone and they start going through your contacts and then they basically start harassing you and ask you to pay them money. And so people have been killed. They've actually killed people. It's a form of police brutality. And they've killed innocent people who were just trying to defend themselves. So it's a mess going on right now. And another thing that is so that's so important about this protest is the fact that the Nigerian government, the, in the constitution, I believe, there's somewhere where it says that you are not allowed to protest, or, or maybe it's a law, maybe it's not in the constitution, but there's a law that says that Nigerians are not allowed to protest. And so Nigerians are defying that law. They are defying that law and protesting and coming out in droves in different parts of Lagos and different parts of Nigeria to protest and to say that the Nigerian government must end SARS. They must end that, that aspect of the police department that has been abusing Nigerians and killing Nigerians unnecessarily. So, yeah. And there you have it. So if you, if you just find out for the first time today, no worries. Just that since I have my own economy, I'm doing something about it. I'm not telling you what I'm doing to shit. Just know I'm actively doing something about it. When you have your own economy, that's the stuff you start worrying about. You know what I'm saying? Injustices happening in places. When you don't have your own economy, you can't worry about Nigeria because you got to worry about your light bill, mm. which is proper. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. this, this is. Okay, hold on. I feel like I... It seems like in Nigeria, yes. it's history repeating itself. From 1893, when, when the colony was actually divided and built, and it went yep. from, and they made the name, like I stated before, watching the journey of a, the making of a colony. When it went from, they made the land of Niggerland, the British, who enslaved people with the Bible and, and policing. SARS is just a, a off a, a off spin of what the British did in 1893 mm -hmm. to Nigeria. I mean, Nigeria is 40, 40, 40, 50 years old, not even. So um, it, 60, 60, we're six, 60 years six, old. 60 years old. Yes. So to, to have an uprising is almost uh, natural that has to happen in order to get complete um, control and most no likely change the name but yes yeah, so it, it seems like like slave catching it when you go and you pillage and you rape the land and you tell people what to do what they can do what they can't do and then the other side you got the man with the bible telling you it's okay just just you know just do what they say and it seemed unjust and unfair for, for both parties because the police and people aren't they're just people with authority just like the police in the united states are act other than than what they're supposed to killing people it's just you're giving somebody you're taking a group of people and you're giving two or three an authority over the other people yep but they're all of equal you're just giving some authority and they're, they're taking advantage yep. of the people so it's it's bound to happen. It's bound a revolution and an uprising is bound to happen. Mm -hmm. well, I'm gonna tell you I'm doing something about it. It pisses me off, but I'll get to that in a second. Namdi, <laughs> go ahead. He's Nigerian as well. Yeah, thank you, Antonio. You are just gonna chip in, obviously. Yeah. On the screen. Um, very green in down there. Um, it's it's been it's been a journey in Nigeria and um in a different kind of way. It's not just the SARS. SARS is just, just one evil, <laughs> you know, out There's of one. the lots of evils out there. Um, um, is he, um, um, what's the guy's name again? I just spoke That's now. Justin. That's That's just, yeah, yeah, Justin, yeah. Um, you know, the history of Nigeria, basically Nigeria shouldn't be one country. It's, a, uh, well, it's not, geographically, it's not that big. 
but with are very different people, the Northerners, the Southerners, the Easterners, the um, Westerners, they're all different people. And back in the day, they ruled themselves. They had regional governments. So obviously the white men came in, um, you know, for obviously control, bring them together, spoke to a few leaders, killed a few that they listened, but the ones that listened, put them together, obviously to oversee the whole country. And the name Nigeria was named by some um, Lord Lugard's wife. Okay, not even the guy himself, his wife named, and it's like the Niger area, which is the river Niger that divides across um, these geographical areas. But like I said, it's not the issue. I grew up in Nigeria, I left Nigeria when I was 20. So I mean, and I was an adult after uni and all that. So when I was growing up, it, was, it wasn't bad. <laughs> It wasn't that bad, you know, that it wasn't religious issues like we hear now. Um, it just kept going down and down and down because of the Northern ones were educated and taught to rule. They are taught, you are the rulers of this area. You can't give it to anyone else. So even though they're less educated, um, I don't know what, because probably because of religion or whatever, they've always um, wanted to rule the country but they don't have the capacity to rule, you see. So because of that, the country has gone from where it used to be, very rich country, extremely rich, you know, extremely rich, it used to be um, fifth um, largest oil producing, then sixth, I don't know if it's tenth now, whatever, I'm not too sure now, but apart from oil and gas, we've got just so many things I can't even start listing out here. My point is, it's not just SaaS, but it is a start, to change um, the status quo. It is a start to challenge what has been ignored and overlooked over the years. Um, hence, investing in Nigeria has always been very good. Why? Because of the amount of um, consolidated wealth in private pockets and the high risk. You know, by investing in a high risk area, it's high yield, but then things could just go boss like that but overall you know i've been looking at nigeria for you know since before i just just before i joined them um, eight years and i like your passion for nigeria and i can tell you now the people the people are very good people the people are intelligent people the people want to be want to be here want to be like us right now i have something a whole lot of young people you know i'm going to come with grace later very I hate to break it to you, but you're in for a big surprise. Five years from now, Jane, who's resigning today, will ring the NASDAQ bell, officially launching her company on the public market. And what you'll soon realize is that Jane stole your most valuable data to start her new company on her way out the door. Learn how Code42 Insider can stop data theft and protect your organization's most valuable assets. Visit Code42.com to learn more. Next, I'm, I'm chilled. I'm, I'm surprised. I'm, I feel like if I, if I could get these guys on, we good. You know, these guys are into everything from, you know, you know, from IT to technical to, to fashion to, 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 um, to, to art to architecture to just so many things. And this is with little, little education, little um, awareness, little exposure, right? And they are this good. You can imagine if we give them what they need to grow, they're going to fly. You know, I've flown in Nigeria a few times and, and I thought the pilots were fantastic. Why am I saying that? Because I heard their planes, some of them are like 50 years old. Okay. But these guys still fly and land you and you're still asleep. I'm thinking, whoa, I mean, if you could get this guy, I mean, we, well, we know in America, even in England, uh, most of the Nigerians that come out here, they become the best doctors, the best architects. You know, my friend right now, right now, my friend is the sergeant at arms in Westminster. Right now, as I speak, is Nigerian. So that's the guy that keeps the law and order in the House of Commons, what we call the House of Commons down here. Uh, I'm not sure what you guys call it. You know, we call it MPs, you know, here. I'm not sure what you call it in America. My point is Nigerians are everywhere and we're doing very, very well. So I'm excited. Um, especially for the Nigerian project, you know, even more than the UK project right now. And um, again, I want to just say thank you for um, the mention all the time. 
and I get excited when I hear things like that. And um, yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, no doubt. Well, I picked you on purpose because you are Nigerian in the UK. That was completely on purpose. I can assure you. Yeah, I'm way too strategic not to have done that on purpose. <laughs> way too. But extremely passionate about Nigeria. The reason I brought this up is because I've got plenty to say, but I will just say 1% of it. Because you don't want to get me started on injustice. Here is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Okay. It's 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 still true to this day, through and through. I'm here in self-actualization, okay? Now, later, someone hyper this and made a six and a seventh, okay? Six and a seventh. You'll have some people in public schools tell you that no one can be in self-actualization because when you get there, you know, you, you die. Wrong, wrong, okay? You can be in self-actualization. Now, <clears throat> there is... I don't have no need for psychological needs. <clears throat> I'm completely in safety needs. I got all the love and belonging I want. I damn sure ain't got no problem with no self-esteem, status, recognition, strength, or freedom. I'm way past all these things. I'm here for sure. There's no doubt about it. When you're here, <clears throat> SARS becomes important. Nigeria becomes important. Student loan debt crisis becomes important. World hunger, ending that becomes important. I don't expect that to be important if you're down here. That's against humanity. Do you understand? Now, I just need you to process this information. If your psychological needs are not met, and some of you on this call, you may be here. You may have just experienced a loss that, that rocked you financially. And now, if you can't pay your rent on time, you're literally stressing in these one and two areas, especially here. You have no security. If you don't, if you're looking for a job or whatever that means, you know, re, don't have enough resources. If you don't have enough resources, you're not even you're not even trying to get into a relationship. And if you get into a relationship without no resources, that ain't gonna work. That relationship is fit to fail bad. You need to respect all these areas, okay? Respect them. But this is what I'm, when you, when someone says, hey, I want to create 100,000 million. Why is I telling you I want to create 100,000 millionaires? My short answer is always because I am attempting to raise the collective consciousness of this world. Basically what I'm saying is with 100,000 people in self-actualization, with enough resources, we can do something different. Does it make sense now? I don't expect <clears throat> you to be where Justin, Donald, and, and, and Ken, and some of you are. Not yet. That doesn't mean that you're in a bad place. It just means, like, Anthony Lee just got engaged yesterday. Congratulations to him. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations to him. But I bet you he couldn't have got engaged last year. Or when COVID first hit, he had to get shook, rebuild, get back to security, right? Mm -hmm. And then get back and then say, okay, now I can even pay attention to you. So just remember that. That's what's called, that's what's called not, not being a narcissist. That's what living a legacy <laughs> is about. No, it is. It, it is not being a narcissist. You're not worried about what everybody's thinking and you're giving in service of others, which actually makes you bigger than life. Because wow. if you're giving in service, if you're just giving for Antonio for your, your local community, that's fine. But if you're giving in service, your name and your legacy and your deeds will live on for centuries to come. Well, amen for that. Because I ain't doing nothing for me. Period. So I don't know what y'all thinking. But we came here to change the world. So I ain't got nothing else to talk about. I'm going to look up that, that making of a colony, the untold story of Nigeria. So I'm all over the place thinking, y'all. Just all over the place thinking. So your job is to get 100 people under you, okay? I want you to do this. Arshia, where you at? <clears throat> I, was, I was actually thinking about you all night. You must have been praying or something. 
I want you all. How can I secure myself is what you should be thinking. But then you should be thinking, but what, let's redefine what security means though, okay? We're gonna redefine what security means because I'm afraid the security they taught you is trash. Let me teach you programming for a second. They told me, they teach me one way and then they go around that way to oppress me, okay? They teach me to be kind and then they go around that and be mean to oppress me. They teach women to be silent. Come on. Don't make me, y'all know how I am. You know how I am. They teach women to be silent, to be picked, not to do the picking. Come on, help me out here. You know I ain't lying, all right? They teach you to smell good and wait for some good man to come pick you and you need to apply and qualify for the picking. And then they go outside of that and then promote a man to be over a woman department. I think I'm lying. So if you in the South, if you, that's how I go. If you in the South, okay, because this the South is different. The South, while the South has, while the South has Muslims, the South is Christian, so so to speak, because of slavery. Because of slavery. Like I need you to get this though, because of slavery, right? You got to remember the slavery legacy. So this is what, so that's why it's called the Bible Belt. So let me talk to anybody in the South. You'll have a woman's conference and a man preaching. <laughs> That's how they do. Yep. That's in the South. You will have a woman's conference. Yep. With a with a bunch of women talking, and and then the the main speaker would be a man. Mm -hmm. Never that's could understand that. that. Never <laughs> could. <laughs> that's normal in the South. So what I'm attempting to communicate with you is they teach you one way, and then they go outside of that way to oppress you. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to shield yourself from that oppression. So let's redefine security. They taught you security is having enough. That's trash, okay? Mm -hmm. Having enough is not enough. That's not even close to enough because the moment your light bill act like a light bill, you ain't got enough no more. Wish I had somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fool around and have a cancer scare and you got security. And watch how much that security gets evaporated when you have to choose between your life and your mortgage. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So we need to redefine what security is. Security is not enough on your success team. Okay, I forgot what I, thank you, Susan on your success team. I want you to redefine enough. So enough should be whatever you think enough is. Well, this is, you borrow from Grant Cardone and say times 10, or you can say what the financial people tell you have six months reserves, okay? Okay, you, you, either one. We'll just go with six months reserves, okay? Since that is more palatable than 10 times as much. That means if I'm asking you to get, so this is what I did. Now I gave you a 10 times money because I know you need nine people in your success team. So what did I do? I told you go get a hundred. Every time I think I need something, what I do is I automatically overestimate that need because I'm always accounting for attrition because people are gonna fall off, ain't that right? Mm -hmm. you, you, got, you got always account for the things that you don't account for. We as humans, we have this nasty habit of underestimating what we can actually do. And then, excuse me, overestimating what we can actually do and underestimating how much it costs 
for the thing we trying to do. Some of y'all business is not working, not because you're a bad leader. You just underestimated it cost you a million dollars to get that thing off the ground. That's all. <laughs> That's all. You got you got the right idea, right thing. It's just gonna cost it's gonna, it's gonna cost you about a million dollars for people to take you seriously. That's all. That ain't your fault. It ain't your fault that they program like that. But some of y'all ideas are so big, you need a million dollars to convince people that you can handle that idea. And I want you to focus on getting one hundred. Okay, staff, faculty. I want you to help them. This is my strong. Oh, go ahead, Justin. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, quick question on sales. Yes, sir. Uh, Dr. Sugar had a conversation with me yesterday when we were putting her book on the store. And yep. in, in regards to actual bringing and recruiting your team, mm -hmm. I have uh, some questions about that. I'm a little unclear on, on that. Um, I've, always, I've been in sales for a long period of time. So usually... Or is it a cold call situation? Is it a friend and family network situation? Is it an entrepreneurship situation? Or is it just anybody that you think? Because for me, the value, what I would do as, as an entrepreneur and the business owner, the value is I don't like to pull or push what people is pulling. In other words, I'm not dragging people on in I'm not dragging people into my mindset. That's too much. That's taking too much energy. It, it's it's like you like it doesn't make sense because then now the negative the energy is drawn, and right. the law the law of association starts to kick in. You become like the people you're trying to help, and that's just a, a lost situation. You got to cut ties to that. No doubt. Because that you, you no non broke people you're gonna be you're gonna be the tenth because you're trying to help them but they <laughs> trying to help they trying to go the other way. It don't make no sense. Yep. So when you're recruiting people. Is it better to have them become interested in what you're doing and yes. then bring them aboard that way? Absolutely. That's exactly what post, we're doing too. See, see a YouTube, see see different things going on, and then say, well, damn, Dr. Sugar, I didn't know you had a cookbook. Or I didn't know you had this book. I know, yep. How did you get these things going on? Well, mm -hmm. come join the network and maybe you can learn about business, about real estate, about uh, self-development, right. about personal development. Is that the tool that we're going to use to change the mindset of the people coming on board the network? Because it's a very yes, powerful sir. network. But if the mindset of the people going on board the network, they're not, they're going to come on and they're going to leave because they're no, going to go not. face value. They're going to come to see, okay, 10, 12, 50, 20, 50 people. What are they doing? If they're not seeing mm -hmm. flashy things, if they're not seeing, numbers on a, on, a, on a daily basis as far as education, if they're not seeing real estate boards of how to flip, they're not seeing e-commerce boards, if they're not seeing things that are going to entice them in the, the immediate cone of learning, which most people have to see first, especially, mm -hmm. you know, you get the employee or the W-2, they have to see. They, a lot of them don't have vision past face value. Then we're going right. to lose them after a week or two because their mindset wasn't geared for the gift or the journey that we're taking them. In other words, they can't see no the doubt. value in it. They're running for the fool's gold and we got the 24 karat gold right here. So what, what you, you're, uh, you have a lot more online customers than I do. So you're doing something right as far as sales. How, <laughs> how, how are you intriguing and in bringing in the sales funnel and then yeah. retaining them as well? Yeah, yeah, got you, got you. So I'll answer, you got about three questions in there. I'll, let me start at the back end real quick with the with the holding people with the glitz and glamour. That's not what he said, but that's, we, we just, I paraphrase it. Facts, big facts, big facts, big facts. That's why these calls are exclusive. Now this, this morning call is an exclusive. This is open to the public, but you can't get on our live calls for that very reason, for that, oh man, I would love to be there thing that we're, where we're creating. Also, all monies, this is very important to understand this here. I'm doing this on purpose. All monies passed out to, from this company are public knowledge, period. They're public knowledge, like and I borrowed from the NFL and the NBA on that stuff, okay? This means that 
there would be a sheet of who's getting paid what. And I won't be your name on there because I don't want you getting knocked in the head because you got some money. You understand what I'm saying? But it will be, here's a percentage of our people making money. Here's a percentage of our people not making money. You understand? It's already happening in the office right now. So we're going to have what we what I call a, a income disclosure report. It's going to be super transparent. We've got 100% people, 97% are making money or 33% are making money. I'm going to put it out there. And we're going to say, this is how many people have this many success team members. And how many people have this many success team members, success team members, that's going to be completely there. The reason that is, is because I'm banking on something, Justin. I'm banking on actually saying what I do and doing what I say. I'm banking on the fact that since we keep breaking payroll records, I want people to see that. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm just in the, this is the last half of his, or last third of his stuff. I want people to see that there are 3,000 R3s in this company. And R3s will be someone with 10,000 active success team members with them. I want people to see that. And I want people to see that in this company, 47% of the people are getting paid. You understand? Mm-hmm. Who, who, are, who are actively doing it. I want people to see it through and through. There would be nothing hidden about that whatsoever for that glitz and glamour part. Also, there are post design and pictures design and we're, we're doing all sorts of the website and stuff as well, just for all the glitz and glamour. This person just promoted. This person just did this. This person just did that. This car just came out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's for that stuff that Justin was talking about there. There's more, but that's the easy answer. Now, the, the part of your answer is as least friction as possible. Can you do code? Do you go to your network? Do you write a list? Notice that every time we train y'all, we've never told y'all to write a list out. I don't know if y'all know that. That's, that's what we kicked. The only person who brought up a list was Jerome 48 hours ago. He brought that up. I didn't tell him to do that. Okay, He brought that up because that was him. Basically, all of you are taking the path of least resistance, no friction, okay? No friction to get to your sales, your revenue or sales, however you want to call it, but to build your success team. That's now what I'm doing, Justin and everybody, I'm leaving it up to you what that looks like, okay? What that looks like should be your friends. and Well, I want to tell you what it should be. It looks like whatever it is, it's up to you. For Grace, Grace can just cold call. She has that ability. I believe Monica may have done something like that. They have that ability. They like that crap. That's least friction for them. They're weird, okay? But for the rest of everybody, you don't have to do that. For Sugar, it's live videos. For Lenita, it's live videos. You understand what I'm saying? All this other stuff like that, et cetera. It's about to be live videos for it's about to be live in this. Okay, <laughs> Vanessa say she ain't playing with none of y'all. I'm coming. She say she doing her videos to you, right? Anything like that. So people are becoming social media influencers. But the the so I can answer how many different ways. But the real answer is no friction or as least friction as possible. Okay. So that being said, oh, oh, go ahead. Can we create a a sales script? and make it authentic and passionate to how we want to deliver it to our chosen Absolutely. recipients? Absolutely. And if it comes from the company, we will leave you leeway to put yourself in there. Put your whole vibe, your whole culture, your whole swag in that sales script. Absolutely. 100%. 100%. Now, the Best question just Justin asked was bifurcated. The one side is how you keeping them, okay? And the other side was how you program, reprogramming them, excuse me, okay? It was the same coin, just two sides of the coin. You understand what I'm saying? How you keeping them and then how you reprogramming them because if you don't reprogram them, you won't keep them. I don't know if y'all heard that, but that's what he was saying. In fact, his exact words were, you're only going to keep it for two weeks, is what he said. All right. Okay, all right. So it's, a, it's the same thing, but it's two different ends of the spectrum or two sides of the coin. You know what I'm saying? How do we reprogram them so we can keep them? 
I'm going to answer both of these. I understood that what I built for you was easy. The problem is what Justin just said, that the front door was wide, which also made the back door wider. Okay. So what I did was I decided to reinvent what is called free trial. The freshman level is what this whole, when Anthony Lee started, there, there are people on this call, one, two, three, four, five. There are five people on this call right now that paid $20,000 to get in this university. Okay, this is this just when we first started. That's what it costs. It costs twenty. It actually thirty three thousand dollars with a thirty three percent discount, something like that. Twenty thousand dollars. Okay, they're on this call right now. They're on this call right now. Thirty twenty thousand dollars. That whole program that they joined was just the freshman level. I need y'all to get that everything sophomore, junior, senior was not here. You better speak a lot, lot telling on himself. <laughs> you just want to be quiet. I said five people. All right, so four, four anonymous people right, in one law, okay, <laughs> paid $20,000, okay, paid $20,000. But I need you to get this here though. I need you to get it. That that was just for the freshman level. So what we did when we decided to expand, Justin, we reduced the price, but we took what people were already paying $20,000 for and we made it free. And then we said, how can I make it grow every single month? <laughs> you get it? How can I make it grow every single month and we figure out how to make it grow? So the freshman, so this is the answer to the question, how do we reprogram them? We, that means Abby can go out, she's not a good sales or can't do this, can't do that, or maybe she can put them in this $20,000, well, actually it's a $30,000 program. It's called the freshman level and it grows every single month. And it is fantastic. Just go in there and take the classes yourself, okay? And it continues to grow, it continues to grow. I invented what free trial means. Then we, Justin, call them, the company calls them. They get emails from me every single day. I don't sell nobody nothing on emails. All I'm doing is giving you business and money tips. So they get contacted at least once a day and they get phone calls. And then what we do is we start coaching them over the phone and adding them value. And after about eight hours of coaching and adding them value, we then upgrade the free customer, the free student, the free success team member, to what is the sophomore level. Everybody understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then when that happens, Justin gets paid and he was at the gym. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you know what? Sound like Justin. What that mm -hmm. means is that I'm glad that you're saying the prices because I paid $200 for the whole year with a 30% at Amazon at MX discount. So I paid about maybe 170 for the whole year, but I was on that damn site doing all the courses, trying to learn all the networks, like I paid $100,000. Yeah. So the person that's getting in for free that doesn't see the value in it, because a lot of people, there you go. usually a lot of people from Humble Beginnings or who haven't uh, acquired great amount of wealth don't see value in free. They see value mm -hmm. in pay. That's why people value that's right. Gucci shirts rather than a Hanes shirt, mm -hmm. because the Gucci shirt makes them look worth wealthy, but mind you, the person in the Hanes shirt might own the Gucci building. It's, 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 a, it's a different... <laughs> May, it, May I say it, it, it's, a di it's a different in value. So the hungry person that you bring on board on a free level is going to eat up everything that they can as fast as they can while it's still free. That's right. That's right. I, it, I, I just want to make that, mm -hmm. make that clear yeah. to people who are, who are either freshman level or coming on board. If he's giving you something for free, take advantage of it because at any given time, he can wake up and say, you know what? It ain't free no more because I got bills. 
And I'm very <laughs> clear about that too. I am very clear that I have no idea how low that's gonna stay free. <laughs> so let me tell you, I have no idea how low that's gonna stay free because I am absolutely losing money. Do you understand? Every time that happens, I am. I have no idea. Justin is he's spot on. So you see how we're Antonio, yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt or anything, but I want to speak up for the free people because I'm on here for free. Okay. I signed up. Well, it ain't free now because I found the value and I saw the value and then I started paying automatically. Like, no, nah, I don't want to. Yeah, like, that's, that's what happens. That's what happens. And that's what happened to those people. And I wanted to say that to Justin, because if you knew who I was or you know me, that you know me by watching me, you would never offer that opportunity to me. And sometimes kind of we take all of our issues and the things that happen and our failures and our the thing that work for us, and then we place them on to the other people. Because I heard you say when you asked that question to Tony. It was like, oh my God, you automatically knew automatically that I was only going to be here for two weeks. So you didn't even give me a shot to even think it. So you had already like shot me in my foot before I shot my own self in my foot, which is true. Which is true, because I just wanted to say, like, law of averages says, though, if you just ask if you, like, the other day I was in the nail salon, and I literally told everybody about this APS university and the Rikesa university. Like, oh, some people man. actually were intrigued by it, so they kind of, like, came to me later. So I don't know if we're supposed to do that, because that's, like, direct sales, I guess. You can, you can do what you want, and when you do something bad, I'll let you know. I'll let you know, right? <laughs> no, don't worry about it. Go going on out there and mess up. Y'all going on out there and mess up, and and then I'll I'll pull you back, okay? <laughs> I'll, I'll pull you back, but do whatever you want. Let me let me let me close it. That's this other thing. That's how we're reprogramming. So here's the actual statistics of our company. Anyone who gets in for free, fifty five percent of them upgrade within two weeks or something like that. I gotta look at the number, I gotta look at the times again. We have a 97% retention rate up to eight months, okay? Up to eight months. After eight months, that goes to 80%. And after a year, it drops down to 60%. That's this company. Those are the real numbers. They are tracked every step of the way and we're getting better and better and better each time with that. And there's many reasons why people, people don't really cancel. People don't cancel. They're, they're maybe their cars just don't go through. And then after three times to, you know, the system stops charging them or at least tries to, or um, I'm not sure really. I've just, it's a bunch of different reasons. However, we just start tracking this data like we had life freeze happen, but we just start tracking this data in November or November or August. No, 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 February last year. So you got COVID data in this too. So we got a whole year of non COVID and almost a year with COVID. So the numbers that I'm talking to you include COVID. <laughs> like, include COVID. We're still holding on to 97% of people for eight months in the middle of COVID. But look at this, look at the opportunity that, that that's yeah. being given. Yeah. I came on board and I forgot what month, but I paid $200 for the year. I paid, put it on automatic for the whole year and got a, a educational discount and a discount at the time. Mm -hmm. So that's 170 for the whole year. I turned that $170 into learning sales funnel sales funnels as I was building my e-commerce e-commerce company and then turned it into a partnership with Antonio for a 50-50 wow. split. Yep. On a network when I may have had 30 or 40,000 base customers and he has 7.9 million customers on a 50-50 split off of $170. This boy talking. And and in yeah. in 6 months so if that's not motivation for you to get up there yes. and learn and learn the game and network, I mean that that hundred seventy dollars could multiply into three, four, five million dollars within two years' time easily, just off the e-commerce network alone on a 50-50 split. So if you get in there, 
and learn the learn 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 it. And mind you, I'm not on every call. I know the people who are on every call. Some of you guys are retirees. Some of you guys work from home. I'm an entrepreneur, so I'm running three different businesses. And if I'm not at my office, I'm in the gym or living life as well. So sometimes I'm just on the morning call. And I don't have time for every three calls, but I'm on the site at least every night going through a workshop. My so man. if you don't take advantage of it, regardless of what your schedule is, you're doing yourself an injustice because he's giving it to you for free. And there's a lot of vast information on there. But if you don't get in there, eat it up when it goes back to 5,000 or eight or whatever, what, he's, he can, the value, he can charge what he wants. But when he when it goes back up, don't cry. That's it. <laughs> Go ahead. You 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 know you know what team that, that, that gentleman is on? Y'all know what team that gentleman is on? Yeah. Oh, never one team, huh? Zero. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last thing. Last thing. Brad is back. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. The two billion dollar man, do me a favor and put the information in the chat for me, real quick. You put the information in chat. You put the information in where they can get it. I have a challenge for all of you. Y'all, y'all seen what happened, right? Y'all seen what happened Tuesday. That was good. Tuesday, this man taught y'all how to buy three million dollar apartment complexes, and he taught you. It, it was just crazy. It's too much for me to name what he taught you. He coming back today, and he is talking about. Scaling from single family homes to multi family homes. Ah, oh, shucks. All right, so just Vanessa like that. Only Vanessa, all right, Vanessa and Jerome, the only two people that liked it. All right. You fit to learn from a $2 billion man how to go from single family homes all the way to multi family homes because that is going to be where some of you have to start off. You understand? For two hours. Now, he's going to give everything away, period, because you can't come in here and not do that. He is also in Rekaza as well, what? on what? Team what? Zeros to the right. Zeros? Yes, on Team Zeros to the right as well. So I have a challenge to you. I want all of you to pick three people that you love. I'm not asking you, I'm not telling you they need to join Rekaza. We open this up to the public. In fact, let me make this. At least three people you love okay do not and i'm a, i'm a, I'm, I'm riding the energy of justin do not claim that you are a human being and you love people and you're not going to send them a two billion dollar yeah. man teaching on real estate at no charge that is inappropriate should you do so do not hoard this information yourself this is free. It ain't coming back. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> it ain't coming back. I can sell this. You understand? Like, please know I should be selling it. I should have made it a course. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I should have made it a course <laughs> for real. But no, we're giving it away for free. Love somebody. It doesn't matter. You don't even have to be on the call. Just send them that information. I challenge you to pick three people. Let's see. The last call had. I don't know, 50 on it or something. Yeah. yeah, 50 on it. So we should be maxed out at 100. Y'all should force me to go to webinar mode. You know what I'm saying? You should force me. We should be like 101 and I got to go to webinar mode. You know what I'm saying? Just do that. Love somebody. It doesn't matter. That's between you and your God, whatever you do. As for me, I'm going to send it to come with some of the loser cousins that I got that need to get off that duff. Yeah. All right, I got some folk. I ain't pulling. I'm just gonna send it. I ain't, I'm just gonna send it. I ain't pulling them. I'm with Justin. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Two billion dollar man Brad will be teaching us at 12 noon Central Standard Time. That is, you know, you're just for your time zone. 12 to 2, 12 noon to 2 p.m. Central Standard Time, and we give everything away. If you can't be in attendance, this is what you do: log or get the information and mail message Diana and say hey I really got this emergency my name is Justin I got a client can I get the replay that's what you do okay email she said email Diana at the atsjr.com if you just ask for the replays we'll give you both replays on general principle right it's not it's free and it ain't free for a limited time only, Patricia. That's trash. 
It's free for a lifetime. I would make sure that you continue to have access to it. And it will even be uploaded probably in the freshman level, just so you can continue to have access to it regardless, okay? You're not gonna miss anything. Just the faster you get to the information, the more blessed you would be, because not only is money speed, money is speed, but speed makes money. While you arguing if the glass is half full or half empty, I'm selling the damn glass and the water to two different oh, yes. people. Antonio T. Smith Jr., you can't mm -hmm. plant better. You can dominate. See y'all at 12, everybody. Thank you. Have a good one. We'll see you later. Do you know how many files your employees have uploaded, downloaded, emailed, airdropped, slacked, or shared via Google Drive today? A lot of that data has left your organization and you don't even know it. Visit Code42.com to learn how Insider prevents data exfiltration. In South Dakota, we're looking forward to exploring new roads and wide open spaces. When you're ready to travel, go great places. Learn more at TravelSouthDakota.com.